am already in my workout clothes. So yes, this is me. And I am down 60 pounds now. So, um, because I've lost more weight, I now weigh 174. Now, remember, I started at 234. That's 60 pounds. And, um, you know, today is March 7th. And um, uh, I started August 13th. So, it's so roughly around six months. This is what I'm eating this morning. And I actually been working on getting eight hours sleep. It's a struggle, trust me. I have to go to bed when my husband goes to bed, which is at 9, and I'm like, I protest because I'm still like a little kid. I'm like, no, I don't want to go to bed, but I feel so refreshed. I It's 7.25, and I don't have to be thinking about, oh, yeah, I have to make sure I get a nap in so I get the rest of my sleep. So, um, And it's sunny out. Everyone can see. Sorry. Um, now I'm blind. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to eat for this morning. I've already had my coffee, um, and I really love coffee, so that is what I have to do. And yes, I have, well, this is like Splenda, and I don't care. Yes, I have sugar substitute. I've already watched all the things about it. I know it's not good for you, but, you know, uh, sorry, low on calories, zero. And then this is new. These are two for five, but I had coupons off of it. 20, this one's 25 calories for one tablespoon, um, which is just right. I have two Splendas and one tablespoon. I've had three coffees because I like coffee. And anyway, so I picked these up. They were really cheap. They're $1.24. I like it. It's perfect portions. You can have a little. You can have a lot, whatever. Um, and it says no sugar added, but it doesn't need anything. I just add a little cinnamon. So... And here's my cinnamon, and that's my oatmeal. And then I made myself a egg creation. And you guys have to get one of these little microwave bowls. They're only three dollars and something at the um, Walmart or wherever you can find it. And um, these are excellent if you don't want to dirty up pans and um, you just want a perfect portion and you just want to get it done quick. A minute in the microwave usually, unless you put veggies, then you have to cook it a little bit longer. But uh, so this is an excellent meal for getting ready to go to the gym. You've got your grains that'll keep you um, full longer and then I've put in avocado and yes I weighed out. I use my scale that's over here. Um, this is actually a Weight Watcher scale but I it does grams and ounces so I really like it and um, actually I've been against I'm like no I'm going to have real eggs only but to tell you the truth you can have a quarter cup which is that's a quarter cup that's 61 grams and 61 grams is a quarter cup and I like to instead of always relying on measuring cups I use my scale for and weigh everything out a lot of times it's just makes it a lot easier throw the bowl on there start pouring there you go and I thrown in mushrooms and salsa I actually have these kept out because I've run out I go through a lot of salsa I like cinnamon on a lot of things uh, cinnamon is supposed to be good for your metabolism and plus it makes things taste good. So I've got to get more. Um, I do a lot of my shopping at the dollar store if I can, the Dollar Tree because everything's only a dollar. Or um, I hit sales, you know, you just got to be smart. Eating healthy does not have to be expensive if you're a smart shopper. Anyway, um, so this is a great, this is protein and good carbs and you know my veggies whatever so that's what I'm about to eat and then I will finish my video okay, so I just finished um, my food and it was super delicious you guys should um, try an egg creation at any time anytime you feel hungry or you want to get some protein in or whatever you know protein fiber those type of things to keep you full longer um, uh, I anyways it was super delicious. I like anything with spice, so avocados are my new go-to because they have the good fats in them, and they're delicious. Uh, and I mean, I, mean, I was given like tons of mushrooms, so I have a whole bunch of them frozen. So, and those are great for vitamin B. Um, but that's pretty much what I eat. Like I like to eat for breakfast and uh, lunch. Um, I don't know, lunch is whatever I have for the day. Sometimes it's soup, sometimes it's tuna. Um, I like to make a tuna creation. 
Uh, and I like to add lettuce as fillers and veggies as fillers and um, and a lot of things I've been making are good. Dinners, I have, um, I like to eat lighter and more healthy for breakfast and lunch and snacks so that dinners I can have what I um, what I want and I eat the same thing as my husband does most times and um, you know I make like burgers we had burgers last night I made mushroom and Swiss Swiss burgers um, uh, I of course add a salad and some veggies good veggies to every meal you know and I'm getting uh, my husband to eat a lot of, a lot of things that are better too and um, uh, I I don't know. I'll have uh, we. I do a lot of things with pork, pork loin or chicken breast, something like that, because we get a lot of that. You know, I'll, I'll find it on sale, and I, I like that. Uh, I like to use breading on it. I do whatever I want, but you know, I don't like cooking oils. I don't. I don't even. I don't even have oil. <laughs> um, I. I don't. You know, I. Um, I just try to be creative on like what I use. I like I measure out things. Um, it only takes a second for me now that I've been doing it for so long. I pretty much have things uh, memorized on what I'm doing. And I use my fitness pal. Whenever you're first logging foods, that type of thing, then yeah, it's all like oh, I gotta figure this out. But once it's in the database or once it's in your brain, you don't have to keep figuring things out. I pretty I know I know I can stick with this. What I do is realistic. I try to get my exercise in. Yes, I was going hard and strong at first, and now I'm only getting there probably three to four times a week. We're getting out, doing something. Um, sometimes it's weather, sometimes it's lazy. As I put the earphones in, I step out the door, and I get walking a little bit, then I'm pumped up. But yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> it, it's not like I'm all like, woohoo, exercise. I, but the, what gets me going is because I'm like, woohoo, exercise after I'm doing it, you know? It, it, it makes endorphins. So like I say, um, fake it till you make it. Make your ass get up and do something. I try to kind of think about it ahead of time instead of let myself be super hungry and I try to make a good choice when I do um, choose something. Sometimes I am worried about if I'm going to be able to eat all my calories because sometimes I'm just not hungry and other times I'm like oh I gotta I have to space this out because I'm hungry all the time it all depends on which week of the month it is planning always starts in the grocery store so always make sure you got stuff to eat and you have to you have to eat enough calories I'm actually eating more than what MFP gives me because I go by other things and how I feel and tr tell, to tell you the truth I am losing consistently at least around two or more pounds a week by eating more than what my fitness pal tells me to eat. And uh, so sometimes it's really good to figure out your BMR, figure it out different cal um, calculators, that which are all estimators, just so you know. And, um, and then just see how your body responds to, you know, I come up with like an average and uh, Right now, I stay with about 1,400, 1,450. I don't freak out if I go over it because I'm still going to lose. You just have to eat at a deficit is all and try to be as active as possible and uh, keep that metabolism going. Always don't let yourself go starving and stuff like that. I don't really give a crap about uh, how many grams of protein and how many macros and blah, blah, blah. You know, macros is carbohydrates, uh, protein, and fat. That's energy. So is calories. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as long as you're eating a rounded um, uh, day or average of rounded week, you know, then you're doing good. You know, with women, you have to watch, um, I think, I think keeping track of your, um, your female uh, calendar is um, very smart, especially when it comes to uh, losing weight or even maintaining your weight. Anything weight related, you should know your body, and that's something to do with it. You should get enough sleep, and I'm working on it. Last night, I actually got enough sleep. Take your vitamins. Uh, I think women should have a little extra, especially on the month. The week that you ovulate and the week that the week before your period, which is PMS, 
um, that you should have uh, in add to your vitamins uh, uh, calcium, which I used to use uh, antacid tablets because they have extra calcium in them, and vitamin C. It's excellent. The week of your period, I think you should um, um, definitely take your multivitamin and have uh, make sure you have enough iron, like uh, add extra spinach that day, you know, the, that week and stuff like that. It's a fact of life. You should know about the, the monthly cycle. You should always be aware of your body. If it says you're tired or you're, if it tells you you're hungry, then you're probably hungry. Just know the, the warning signs, uh, the difference between are you hungry or are you bored. Okay, that's you just need to listen to yourself. All that's been working for me. And uh, you guys can find me on my fitness pal if you want to. It's Finding Amy 77. So that's me. Uh, good luck on your journeys and stay focused. <laughs>